my level two 30 minute abs and booty trophy aerobics class. Let's get right into it with posture jump. Straighten out the spine, elongate the spine, shoulders down and back. Excellent posture here, light bouncing. I'm gonna be using my performance bar today with my Cellar Sizer Rebounder. If you wanna upgrade your rebounder to a Cellar Sizer, visit ijumpinstead.com. This is the tightest mat on the market, so you get the most out of every bounce. Keep stretching out your spine here, deep breathing. Make sure you have your towel for lay down bouncing at the end because we're going to crush those abs. All right, mind to muscle connection throughout the entire routine and we're standing up tall, okay? Let's do our lung breaths, 10 breaths. Exhale at the bottom of the bounce, three, two, one. <gasps> Great job. Let's do our trophy lungs. Let's inhale and hold our breath for 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Inhale and hold. Great job. Let's go ahead and do our belly breathing. Inhale into the lower belly. Exhale, tuck that belly in. Inhale, stretch it out. Exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Oh, that feels so good. Let's go ahead and bring our left hand down to our side. Tilt the head to the right. Oh, really stretch it out here. Lift your arm up, light bouncing. Great job, right hand down to the side, tilt to the left. Really stretch your hand down here. Feel that stretch in your neck and your shoulder. Oh, that feels good. Let's go ahead and gently look down here. Feel the stretch in the whole back of the neck. Turn your head, stretch it out, very gentle bouncing. Let's go ahead and take it up. Close your mouth, relax your eyes. Perfect job. Let's go ahead and get into our swim stroke. We're doing crawl stroke. We're gonna stretch out the shoulders, the back, the sides, the chest. Perfect posture here. And now find your steady breathing. Stand up nice and tall. This will bring awareness to your tummy area. We want to keep a nice firm tummy. Picture your belly button being nice and firm. That's the area you want to focus on. Tight, firm belly button. Let's go ahead and take it back. Really reach, really stretch. We only do this for a minute. We want to make the whole minute count. So stretch it out. Oh yeah, it feels so good. All right, five, four, three, two. We're going into hip twist. So here we go. Pop the knee out. Stand up tall. Tight belly button. Pop that knee out. You're so tall here. Your spine is so long. We're getting taller throughout the entire routine. Now feel it in your core. Make every move count. You want to feel it in your core throughout the entire routine. Let's go ahead and pick it up a notch here. Really rock those hips, really twist those hips. Pop those knees out. You're getting a little bit of a waist trainer move here. We're gonna go into jump squats next. And we're gonna take it easy. We're gonna go for the whole minute, but we're gonna take breaks. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. So let's do five jump squats. 
So let's go down and up. And when we go down, we want to keep our spine straight. And then when we come up, we want to push with our handlebar and flex our legs in the air. Down, up, flex. Down and flex. Down and flex. Now, if any at any point you need to catch your breath, just stop and help out. So basically do as many as you want during this entire minute. But keep your heart rate down. It's going to spike, but bring your heart rate back down. I'm going to do a few more. You're going at your own pace here. Flex your legs in the air. Keep your core tight. Perfect job. You've got five more seconds. Bring your heart rate down. So we're going to start with glute squeeze. So squeeze that booty. Catch your breath. Squeeze it. We've got a whole minute. Stand up tall, chest up. Tight belly button. Squeeze. Squeeze and catch your breath. Jump squats are not easy, but they are very powerful. Squeeze that booty. Make it pop. Picture your little baseball buns. Or do you want basketball buns? Picture them. They're perfectly firm, perfectly round. Fully in, the, in full circle, all the way around, top to bottom. Perfect shape. Trophy buns. Squeeze it. We've got 15 more seconds. Squeeze. 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 Okay, squeeze a little harder. Five, four, squeeze. Two, one. Perfect job. Bring your heels together. Ballet pose. Smush. Press. Press and squeeze. Butt cheeks are squeezing. Inner thighs are squeezing. Knees are squeezing. Calves are squeezing. And we're standing up super tall to keep that tight belly button. Now breathe. Breathe. You should be feeling it in your abs here. When your legs are pressed together, it makes your core contract. And it's all about the breath. The bigger the breaths, the more we sweat and we melt fat away. Squeeze, we only got 13 more seconds. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze is burning. We're burning, oh yeah, we're burning. We're doing squat balance next in three, two, one. Great job. Wide stance, straight spine, even though we're tilted forward. And now we're bobbing our lower half. Okay, tight belly button, long spine. Push down into your resistance mat. Now squeeze your legs, squeeze your whole legs, and squeeze your booty. Find your placement with your pelvis. Tuck it under, stick out your booty. Find the perfect position so your back feels supported, okay? If you don't have any back pain, Try sticking your booty out as far as you can. Squeeze your buttons. Squeeze your thighs. Squeeze your calves and your shins. Squeeze it all. Squeeze your abs. Tight belly button here. We're going hiking next. Great job, squeeze it. We got five, four, three, two, one. Okay, hike it out. So everything is still the same, but now we're doing one foot at a time. Pushing down into the mat. Go at your perfect pace. Let's not try to spike the heart rate up too high. We want a slow burn. So breathe steadily to help get oxygen into your muscles. <sighs> Squeeze your legs, push back and forth. We're not bouncing here, we're just pressing. We're hiking. Squeeze your buns. Squeeze your hamstrings, your thighs, your inner thighs, your outer thighs. Push down with your heels, make your belly button tight. Relax your face. Great job. We're gonna go forward kicks next and focus entirely on the core. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Forward kicks. 
Now, use that core. Stretch out your lower back and use your core. Crunch, 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 crunch. Throw in the quad flex if you can do two things at once. But really crunch your core. Crunch, crunch, great job. Now exhale, exhale. Find your breath. Really exaggerate this, okay? Feel your six pack building. You're working your, your lower left ab and your lower right ab in your six pack. The bottom of your six pack. Now bring it up, bring your leg higher and work the middle of your six pack. Really squeeze your abs. We're going to front diagonal. Three, two, one. Now we're working obliques. Pinch, stand tall, pinch, pinch, pinch. Flexing the leg just brings it up a notch and it's totally optional. We really wanna focus on the pinch. Trophy core. And it's all about the exhale as our bottom foot is pressing down against resistance. And pinch, pinch, pinch. Great job. Pinch, exhale. Stay with me here. Really exaggerate the pinch. Tight belly button. Great job, we're going side kicks. Next, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, out to the side. You don't have to kick high here. As long as you're standing tall and you rock your hips and use your side to find that pinch. Pinch, 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 pinch. We're rocking. Now tight belly button here. Stand up tall. Great job. We're getting those nice tight sides. Getting nice and snitch snatched. Hourglass. Stay with me here. Great job. We're going back diagonal next. Working on those Love handles. We want that tight lower back. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Stay tall here. You don't have to kick back too high. You just have to feel it in your in your lower back. Get to feel the pinch. And exhale. Exhale. Steady breathing. Great job. Now make your core nice and firm here. We always want to have a super strong core when we back kick. We have to support the lower back. When our core is firm, our lower back is supported. Really pinch, pinch. Picture the lower back being super tight. No love handles in the house. Great job. We're gonna take it straight back. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, strong core. Keep your chest up. You don't have to kick high behind you. You can even bend your knee a little bit and bring your foot up. But feel, feel the pinch in your lower back, right in the center where Britney Spears has those dimples. Picture those dimples. I don't know if those dimples are genetic. I don't know if we all have those dimples, but we all want a tight lower back. So picture it. Kick your foot up. Strong core. Tight belly button. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Great job. We're going hiking next. We're gonna blast the leg. In five, four, three, two, one. Wide stance. 
bend down and now hike it out. That belly button immediately contracts, immediately gets firm. Now just push down into your resistance mat. Now squeeze your legs. We only get to hike for this last one minute. Squeeze those legs. Picture yourself flying up a mountain, just climbing up that mountain faster than everyone else. Boom, boom, push down into this resistance mat. Build those muscles so that you fly up the mountains if you like to hike. Otherwise, crush it on your jumper, crush it. Squeeze those legs. We're gonna do squat bounce next. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're bouncing both legs. Feel the flex. Stick your booty out, tuck your booty under. Make sure that your back feels supported. Now squeeze your legs, tight belly button. Every second counts. When we only work out for 30 minutes and when we work out for one hour, we might as well use, maximize every single second, every single minute, because we're working against resistance here. So let's make it count so we can build muscles fast. And we can tone up, firm up, lean down, feel amazing. Feel like a trophy. Trophies in the house. Great job, everyone. We're gonna go ballet legs next. Three, two, one. Bring them together. Stick the toes out. Core immediately contracts back. Tight belly button. Now smush. Squeeze those gluteus muscles together. The glutes, squeeze them together. Smush them together. Press them together. Close your eyes, relax your face, chest up. Press your inner thighs together. Press your knees together. Squeeze your cheeks together. Your inner thighs should be burning. Burn, baby, burn. We're only working out for 30 minutes. Make them burn. Just make them so sore. Build those muscles. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Only 10 more seconds. Here we go. Woo! Five, four, three, two, one. Release your legs, just out a little bit. Now glute squeeze. Glute squeeze, we're gonna work the outer glutes. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Oh yeah. Press down with your heels, chest up, tight core, squeeze. Oh yeah. We're only going 35 more seconds. Make it count. Squeeze. The closer your heels come together, the, clo the more inner glutes you work. We can't spread our legs too far because we don't have enough room on the mat. So make it count. Find your perfect position. Squeeze. 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 10 more seconds. Give me all you've got. Make it count. Squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna rock it out with a hip dance. We still want a firm core here. Tight belly button. Rock it out. Coming up on the toes. Pop the knees out just a little bit. Rock the hips. Stretch out the lower back. Find that flexibility. Use your shoulders. Feel the exaggerated stretching here. Great job. We're gonna do some sit bouncing next. We're gonna go four minutes sit bouncing and we're gonna do puff cheeks for one minute, flex jaw for one minute, puff cheeks for one minute, flex jaw for one minute. And we're gonna get so much fatigue in our face because we need to have that trophy face. And then we're gonna lay down for six minutes and we're gonna crush our abs, crush them. Let's go ahead and sit down. Here we go. 
find a seat, step off your jumper gently here. And now here we go, puff cheeks. Blow the air out, feel the stretch in your cheeks. You want to throw in a little extra, squeeze your arms into your side. Sit up tall, tight belly button. It really helps to be looking in a mirror. If you happen to do this again and this routine again, which I know you will, maybe you could place a mirror by you so you can look at yourself in a mirror and make sure that your cheeks are fully puffed out and you're not creating any lines. Three, two, one, flex jaw, flute face. Make it fatigue, make it count here. Squeeze your arms in if you want to do a little extra. We're at such a low intensity right now, we could be dominantly breathing through our nose, but still breathing through our mouth at the same time. So we can really concentrate on that flute face flex. This is why it helps to look in a mirror. Puff cheeks in five, four, three, two, one. Monkey face. Stretch those cheeks. We're putting them against resistance by bouncing on our resistance mat, so we're strengthening our cheeks. If your back doesn't hurt at all, you can even bring your bounce up a little higher. If you need to work your way up, keep your bounce very minimal. Squeeze your arms in. Strong core, strong belly button. Flute face, three, two, one. Now make that jaw so fatigued. Playing the flute. There's many ways you can flex your face. Playing the flute is one great way. And if you look in the mirror and you practice flexing your jaw and you find a better way, then do it your way so that your face is flat, your jaw is flexed and that you're not creating additional lines on your face. Make it count. Give it that squeeze. Squeeze your face just like you squeeze your body parts on the rest of your body. Squeeze. Squeeze. Make it fatigue like crazy. We're going to be grabbing our towel here and we're going to be doing lay down bouncing for six minutes. In ten seconds, grab your towel right now if you need to. All right, putting my towel here between my handlebars. If you got, if you don't have handlebars, oh, that's okay. Put it anywhere on the rim of your rebounder. Start bobbing, legs up. Now make it count. You know how to do this. Put your hands behind your head if you want. Lift your head up, stick your chin up in the air. Now focus, focus on the crunch in your tummy. Use your breath as resistance. You can keep your head down. You can lower your legs. You can do bicycle kicks. You can do twisting. You can stay right here and just do leg lifts. Leg lifts for the whole six minutes. Your abs will be on fire. Do your best here to make it count. Here we go. Ooh. 
Use your breath. Your breath is so powerful. Your breath can make you work 10 times harder and get the job done. Picture that six pack, that eight pack. Picture that washboard stomach. Paint the picture in your mind. Draw it with a, a pencil. Every little detail of your washboard abs. You want the side lines, you want the center line, you want the horizontal lines, you want the beautiful skin tone, the definition in the obliques, upper abs are super tight and shredded. Use your breath, make it happen. Great job. Just over three minutes left. You got this. You got three minutes in you, make it count. We can make so much progress. In one minute, two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, six minutes, we can make, so, we're making faster progress than we would be if we were on the floor. If we were using machines at the gym, we're making faster progress on our resistance mat, bouncing over a hundred times a minute on the full core, top to bottom, left to right that trophy core, using the force of acceleration and the weight of gravity, adding 20, 30 pounds to our whole stomach. Make it count. Keep drawing your picture. Per paint your perfect washboard abs. Uh oh, lost my towel. Okay, just under two minutes left here. Let's crush it, let's crush it. Let's burn it. Woohoo! We want it to burn, we're building. We're growing. We're increasing muscle density. We're burning fat, melting body fat. More muscle density equals a faster metabolism. We don't want to burn muscle. We want to grow muscle so we make them burn and then we let them rest and then we make them burn and then we rest them so that they can grow and they can grow and grow and grow. Just over 30 seconds here. So if you're doing my trophy aerobics class, and your abs are wicked, wicked sore, give them another day of rest so that you can hit them harder the next day. If you train sore muscles, you're just further breaking them down so they're not building. You know the drill. 10 more seconds. Great job, everyone. Five, four, three, two, one. You are finished. Relax, your feet down, 
sit up if you want to meditate sitting up or else stand with me here and relax relax the tummy fully relax let it go any tension in your stomach stick it out let it go stick it out Our tummies want to be relaxed so badly. They never want us to hold tension in our tummies. When we train our muscles, that's one thing, but holding tension in our stomachs the rest of the day, not a good idea. We want to relax our tummies. Let them go. Bring awareness to our core so we can have excellent posture and no tension in our tummy. Holding a strong core is not holding tension. Sucking in our stomach says we're afraid that our partner is judging us or our friends are judging us. That is holding tension in the tummy. We have to let it go and smile. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next time for another awesome workout. Take care. Bye-bye.